What's up guys, it's JKK Tag, and today we're hitting you up with BRADS 3.3 Elixir Graveyard Poison deck. This deck is incredibly solid, but it will struggle a little bit against Zapbait. In the case that you play Zapbait because you don't have Log, you're actually going to have to drop the goblins in front of your tower to mitigate two of those goblins from actually hitting you. So, the way you play this deck is you traditionally want to be identifying what your opponent runs, because Graveyard plus plus Knight plus Poison is a 12 Elixir combo, you can't really be rattling that off until double Elixir. Double Elixir, you're going to be going in for those Graveyards plus Knights a lot more, and you're going to know if you have to Poison or not. If they have Goblin Gang in Cycle, if they have Night Wish in Cycle, obviously you want to Poison it. If they have Knight in Cycle, you probably don't really want to Poison it. Alright guys, so let's hop into some games. I got a nice juicy 12 in here, and I was even using a level 3 Tornado and a level 3 Tombstone. So guys, let's hop right into it. Alright guys, so we're into our 12th win game against Flo. Flo is going to be running Bridge Spam, which is incredibly prevalent right now in GCs. It is probably the most dominant archetype. And what's really good against that right now is Tombstone. He's going to try to be evading my Tombstone. He's going to be trying to use the Pencil to evade it, but we have to end up using our Tornado to get it in place. So we're going to be doing really well right now. As I said before, almost all the decks right now have to have Tombstone in, in GCs, especially Graveyard. Graveyard has a really good uh, synergy with Tombstone. Traditionally, like, if you're running a Graveyard deck with Inferno Tower, you can't really cycle the Inferno Tower. You can cycle the Tombstone because it's going to be spawning skeletons, or you can cycle a Furnace because it's going to be spawning, spawning units that are actually useful for you. So that's why I really like having Tombstone in the deck, it, because if you have, like... I, I'm seeing people run Inferno Tower with three spells, including Graveyard. Like... You can't really do that. Imagine if I had Inferno Tower plus, plus Graveyard plus Tornado and Poison all in my hand at the start. Can't really cycle anything. So that's why you're able to actually cycle Tombstone if you have a bad situation like that. So this deck is really strong against, against what he's running. As I said before guys, we're not going to really be going in for Graveyards until we defend. This deck is all about counter pushing just like the Splash Yard deck. I'm going to be defending right here. I actually do not play this exceptionally well. Look at that inferno, or look at that tornado. I actually missed the, uh, I missed pulling the inferno dragon. That inferno dragon got a lot more shots than it should have on the, on the executioner. So that was kind of bad by me. That was one of my few mistakes this game. And if you can, guys, to avoid that happening, you want to be tornadoing in a straight line. So you want to be dropping your executioner in line with your tower, and you want to be tornadoing backwards. That's with golem pushes anything. This deck, you always want to be going same lane as your opponent. Notice how I'm not going to be switching lanes. Even though I have a little bit more damage on the right lane, guys, it's imperative that I go same lane as my opponent so I don't lose to the bridge spam. As long as he doesn't get units through, I am fine, guys. So it's hit double elixir. I can start to go for my graveyards. That was very unfortunate for my executioner to die right there. I was very sad at this moment. So I, I was down a considerable amount of elixir. This was not good for me at this situation, but it just shows you how good this deck is. Even in dire situations like this right now, you are still able to beat bridge spam. So I'm gonna be dropping Knight right now to make sure that I don't lose my tower. But another thing is if you see them continuously go for those graveyards or you see them continuously go for those poisons, you can drop the tombstone a little bit up further. So then they can't poison the tower and they can't poison the tombstone. I should have put, uh, put my tombstone more up to the right, so it won't have hit out anything. That was another thing I could have done differently this game. But as you can see right now, Executioner is absolutely amazing with this deck. It kills all the Night Witch spam. You can literally tornado everything back if you get one good Executioner, which I this was my one good Executioner of the game. I hit a Night Witch and I hit the uh, Bandit. If you hit a Battle Ram plus Night Witch, you pretty much win the game. You just drop a Knight in front of your Executioner, and then you go for a Graveyard and pretty much just, it is over then. So this guy, uh, he's, he's continuously, uh, he's still spamming at the bridge. He's a little bit frisky right now. So we're going to be go dropping our Executioner. We're going to drop the Knight. So you want to drop the Knight right on top of the Bandit. As I said before in previous videos, guys, you really don't want to give the Bandit the opportunity to charge up. If you drop an Ice Spirit right on top of the Bandit, guys, the Ice Spirit will actually survive the Bandit hits. The Bandit will not charge, and then the uh, it actually takes two regular hits from the Bandit to kill the Ice Spirit. So anything in this uh, anything in this deck composition, you drop it right on top of the bandit and you're fine. So as I said before, guys, look at that executioner value. Look how crazy this is right now. Executioner is going to clean up everything. It's going to kill the night witch. Night witch doesn't even spawn the bats because the executioner is right there. 
And uh, we're going to be able to go in for another graveyard and pretty much take the dub right now. The unfortunate part of this deck is that you don't have two tanks. So, I know if some of you guys are probably used to running like Ice Golem plus, plus uh, Knight, in some search, certain situations you're actually going to have to go in for graveyards without tanks, guys. So I know that's a little bit hard to grasp and I know that's a little bit weird, but you're going to be seeing me going in for a few graveyards without tanks in this game if you want to rewatch it. it. It did happen, and I, I'm sure in some live battles I'll end up doing it as well. But uh, it's, it's pretty imperative to know when you don't need to commit or when you're not allowed to commit the knight. Because sometimes you actually have to save the knight to deal with the bandit. So that was a pretty good game. Let's, let's hop into some live battles right now. That was a solid 12-1. I had it on stream as well, guys. If you want to rewatch the broadcast, it was on the uh, 28th. Alright, we're playing against FB Bill. Alright. Let's get into the game right now. He's dropping Princess at the Bridge. We're dropping our Goblins. He's not able to do anything to that, and that uh, princess just gets obliterated. This is going to be Zap 8. This is the hard matchup that I was talking about earlier. We're dropping our Ice Spirit at the bridge. We're going to be dropping our Executioner. Not really going to let that pull get through. Just going to let it happen. It's a dead Xy. We could actually go in for a graveyard because he still has to deal with the remnants of the Executioner. Having the Executioner tank is kind of crazy stuff. Gonna go in for that graveyard, or go in for that uh, impeccable tornado. We had to do that to tornado. We got a lot of damage on him right there, guys. So he does have Princess, right? So we... Alright, we're gonna be dropping our Knight in the middle. We didn't really want to get wrecked by Princess. Gonna be dropping our Ice Spirit to hit his Ice Spirit. Uh, his Ice Spirit didn't jump on top of it. It's all good, it's all good, guys. We're just going to be cycling Tombstone. We're not going to really be too aggressive until double elixir, guys. Because all we need to do is overextend once and not have elixir to poison. And then he can make this huge comeback right now. We don't really want to allow that to happen. As I said, goblins in the front of the tower are very clean. Look at that. One hit, two hits. It's all we got was two hits. Now he has to deal with the an Executioner Night Push. This is not something that's easily dealt with, guys. That one goblin is chipping away on that tower, guys. This guy is getting wrecked right now. Zapate is just not even doing anything to us. This is one of the hardest matchups, and we are killing the game right now. Oh, and look at this skelly just eating that tower alive. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. So as soon as those skeletons die, then... Okay, yeah, actually, his princess is in the back. What I was going to say is I was going to drop the tombstone there. Just in case that uh, the princess is going to be placed at the bridge. There's nothing to worry about, worry about, boys. We're gonna be poised the tornado, the knight, or whatever he drops back, all in a straight line. Gonna kill all that. We also have our goblins in cycle, as I said before. Gotta drop them in front of the tower to make sure that doesn't. The uh, I gotta make sure that those goblins don't wreck me. We can drop it on the side, I guess, a little too, because it also snipes them. He's going to rock it. He's actually going to maybe hit the XE. No, he doesn't. All right, let's go, guys. Let's let's assert dominance with the three crown right now. He can't do that to us. We, we don't take kindly to that. We don't take kindly to rockets on our tower, boys. We will take the game. That's a clean first game, guys. Let's get it. Let's move on to the next one. All right, we got a game against Nico. Nico the king from Galaxy Esports. He is going in hot against us right now. Giving us that wow. Double wow right now. Thumbs up. Give him that thumbs up and double wow as well, guys. Gonna be cycling our knight in the back. Alright, alright. He's got Night Witch. Hmm. <laughs> I don't appreciate that card. I don't appreciate that card at all, man. Unfortunately we Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna I was gonna say it was gonna be a bad bad news bears for us, but uh, he actually decided to go really aggressive on us. Just gonna nade everything back. Hopefully it all gets caught by the Axie. And it does. And we're fine. We're gonna start up a slower push and then go for our graveyard. That's why we tanked with the Knight. We just wanted to build up a little bit more Elixir and then we wanted to go for our graveyard. He used his Archers, so he's in a world of pain right now, guys. That tower is going down. Oh, daddy, that is, that is rip. <laughs> I'm sorry, the king, you have been dethroned. And uh, this, this game is uh, looking bleak for him. 
So obvious. Okay, he's got Mirror Night Witch. We're just gonna go same lane as him, guys. No problems out here, never. No, never a problem. I I believe we can three crown him if he uh, decides to continuously go same lane as us. We're gonna go mid. Or we're gonna go same lane as him. So aggressive, bro. What you doing? He could log that right now if he has it. Yeah, that's log. We're just gonna go for it right now. Why not, right? If he cycles anything, it's just gonna get it's gonna get killed. If he elects to go for Golem, we're actually gonna have to go into it. But there's not much he can do. We're gonna, we're gonna go for Tombstone. We're gonna go for Ice Spirit to make sure that that doesn't die. Ice Spirit barely connects. And uh, we're chilling right now. So, misplay by me. I should have placed it all on one side, but I don't really wanna... I wanna give him... I wanna give him worries right now. He just logged. Alright, this is three card, guys. We're asserting dominance in the truest fashion right now. There's only one way to assert dominance, and this is the way. Three crowns for, for days, guys. On to the next one. Let's get it. Gonna drop our tombstone in the middle of the cycle. It's gonna drop Nightwish. So that means we can just go XD same lane and we're chilling then. Obviously just gonna go same lane. This might be some graveyard deck by him. Yep, there it is. Gonna nade everything back so he doesn't have a tank for his graveyard guys. And this is really good. Gonna go goblins to make everything go upwards so we keep our executioner alive. We have a knight alive right now, guys, so we can make a counter push. Drop our ice spirit in front and go for our graveyard. Ice spirit killed the skeletons. We do not have the knight tanking, but the knight will get on the tower potentially. We're doing a lot of damage on that guy. That this is good stuff, guys. This is good stuff. We even have our uh, we even have our executioner back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop our axie, even though it. We kind of want to save it for the Night Witch, but it's fine. We're going to go for Knight in front. We're going to make him actually spend a lot more Elixir right now. Could endeavor to poison that. Now we're definitely going to poison that. He gave us some value, guys. We appreciate that, man. He could potentially go for a Graveyard right now, but I don't know if he has enough Elixir to. We're just going to drop an Ice Spirit. Make that Night Witch go back a little. And then all the bats still freeze, because the Ice Spirit killed. The, if Ice Spirit kills something, whether it's a Lava Hound, well, the, whether it's a Battle Ram or whatever, if that's the last killing hit, then guess what, guys? It's actually going to make sure that the whatever spawns also gets hit as well. That's a lot of damage on us, guys. I messed up. We done goofed. We're going to be dropping our graveyard. We got to make something happen right now. We're gonna nato everything back as well. We gotta keep our we gotta keep our executioner alive. That's the only way we're gonna win this game. Gonna drop our knight. We will have our goblins for the graveyard and we will win the game right now, I believe. Gonna nato everything back as well. That Executioner placement is paramount right there. We are bouncing back from a really bad play. I should have actually dropped my Goblins, but we're doing fine now. We're going to poison all that. We're going to hit the Night Witch. And we're going to hit the Knight. Hitting both Knights right there, guys. <laughs> Basically two Knights. Oh, no. He's actually going to poison and hit our Goblins. That's really rough for us. we got to go in for a Graveyard right now, boys. Going in for the Graveyard. We have the Knight on the tower. We are about to finesse this, man. We are going in for the Poison. Hit him up with that good game, and we have taken the dub. All right, guys, let's move on to the next one right now. All right, we got a game. Let's get it, guys. We got this one for sure. This is a nice hand. So we're going to be cycling goblins in the same lane in the back. I split skeletons because they don't actually do damage to towers, but if you keep your goblins in the same lane, it's well worth it. So now we're seeing a bandit. We're going to drop our tombstone in the same lane as the bandit. We're not going to let that get through. Alright, so we see Pump. This is kind of odd. 
Okay, he's, he's one of them. That was a lot of elixir for him. Uh, where to go in? I don't know if he can play that aggressive on us, guys. If he drops Nightwish, we're going to poison. Obviously going to poison that. Phenomenal poison value. And that is tower, guys. Skeletons are eating them alive. He got punished for that bridge spam. You should not be allowed to bridge spam. He's giving us that angry face, but you know, that's, that's what you get, man. One of them skilled players that literally just drops everything at the bridge. Okay, so he's got 3M. So, <laughs> little does he know we have the Axie. And we have NATO, so this is not going to do anything for him. He's probably going to go opposite lane, but we have goblins for the bandit. Maybe he has minor, actually. Not sure. Not too scared, guys. We're going to drop Ice Spirit and Knight. And then, yeah, that's just dead. Goodbye, muskies. You're not doing anything. And uh, we actually have... We have the Tombstone, which he's going to go for Bandit, Zap, and then we also have Goblin, so we'll do a 5 for 5 trade, and then we'll be fine. We're actually just going to drop our Tombstone up front, because we really just don't want to, we don't want to eat anything. We're not eating any damage out here. He's continuously saucing us those well played. I mean, he did drop 3Ms in one, in one lane, so we're going to, we're going to mute him. <laughs> oh, we, we weren't about that. All right, so we're gonna be dropping Xe same lane as the X as the Ice Golem, and we're gonna be fine. There's not much you can do. We're gonna go drop Knight. We're actually gonna just cycle another poison on him right now. What is he gonna drop? He's gonna give me something else worth poisoning. Yep, there it is. He actually has Fireball. We're tornadoing everything into that poison, so it stays in the poison. We're gonna drop our Knight a little bit back, so then the Bandit goes backwards, guys. And yeah, that's that's pretty clean. You can cycle two poisons in double elixir if you didn't know that already. It's pretty it's pretty clean. Drop our tombstone, we're gonna drop our ice spirit, we're gonna drop our goblins. Pencil does get through, which is a little bit uh little bit worrisome for us, but I don't I don't think he's taking the tower anytime soon out here right now. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna be defending the left side, so he can't really do anything. No need of no need to overextend and, and go for a graveyard when we can just defend and win the game, guys. We're just going to go for a tornado, and uh, he's going to clump everything up like a nice guy, and uh, yeah, we just win. Good game. Give him that well played, because he gave us so many well plays. And let's move on to the next one, guys. Another game against Bodo. All right, all right, man. Give him a good luck. Let's see how he does. We don't really know what he's running. We're just going to be dropping the goblins in the back. That's the first maneuver. We're going to be, yeah, we're going to drop Ice Spirit in front. Hmm, we don't have poison. This is so bad. Feels bad, man. All right, he's got baby D. Gonna drop XE, same lane as that. We've kind of staggered our units, so let's see what he does to respond. Okay, so he's responding to the knight. We're not gonna do anything. It would, it would be way too adventurous to go for a graveyard with that. We were down way too much elixir, guys. He just didn't deal with it. Oh my god. We're gonna go for our poison first. God, as I said, we gotta kill that. We're dropping our ice spirit after we drop our after we drop our goblins. We didn't want the ice spirit to get sniped, so that's that was the maneuver, guys. And you guys noticed how I was, I noticed I was down so much elixir, and I'm just like, we are not going for a graveyard. Simply not about that life. We might go for a naked graveyard in this situation right now. See if we can cycle anything. Mm, let's go for right now. This is not gonna be a naked graveyard. It's gonna be an executioner graveyard. Just because he placed that in the far back, guys, we're gonna try to get something out of it. He's actually gonna try to NATO those to the King Tower. That's crazy stuff, bro. That never works. And that's just gonna take tower, guys. That's that's a dead tower. We're gonna uh, use our tornado and kill it. We're actually going to pull this to the King Tower. We're going to use our goblins. We needed to kill the Night Witch before doing anything. Use the Ice Spirit. Use our Tombstone right now. That's That was imperative. Going to have to use our Knight as well. And we've defended our virginity, guys. We are out here right now. The plays are real. That hand was so bad at the start. I had no way to punish him. And we're coming back. We are bouncing back out here. Dropping our Xe in the back. 
Always go the same lane as these golden players, and there's nothing they can do. It just feels so bad as a golden player. We're gonna not let him get any hits. If he got one hit, then he would be able to lightning. Lightning plus log would kill the uh, would kill the uh, executioner, and we kind of want to force him to do that, you know. Gonna nato everything back so he doesn't even get the splash damage. This is why he can't have nice things because he's playing golem, man. Just doesn't work. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna drop another executioner. That executioner is gonna cordially greet that night witch. It did not get the opportunity to meet the night witch. Regardless, we take the dub, guys. All right, those are pretty fun games. Those were fun games. So a huge shout out to Brad for creating this awesome deck. It is now my favorite deck in GCs. I've been getting 12 wins every single time with this deck, guys. It demolishes all the tank decks. It demolishes all the bridge spam decks. You just straight finesse everyone, pretty much. It does have issues against log bait, but as you saw earlier, it is beatable. So thanks for chilling with me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the vid, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.